this. It's called a suit. You wear one every day, along with a necktie, black, not white socks, dress shoes, not shower sandals. Please. Of course. These Underwear. Are awful. Oh, come on. No, 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 no more commando. Mitch, you're a grown ass man. Put them on. This is called a schedule. It tells you everything you need to do each day pickups, drop offs, activities, play dates, doctor's appointments, etc. You'll notice that there are approximately 50 hours worth of obligations on any given day. Make it work. This is called a grocery store. People buy food here. It's part of your responsibilities. Before heading to the market, always call Jamie and ask her if she needs anything first. In fact, before making any decision in your life, no matter how small, call your wife first. Think of yourself as a brain-damaged mule, lost in the desert, helpless, dumb, and in constant need of direction. Never take the initiative, never strike out on your own, and never deviate from the plan. Why? Because you're a brain-damaged mule, and you are lost in the damn desert. So first, I have to tell you guys, it was really, really funny. This Thank is you. one of the best movies, seriously, that I've seen this year. Awesome. Did you get all that on here? <laughs> you got that right? We're recording? That was clear. No, Rusty, I was laughing. Rusty, you're good? I okay. was laughing for like the first hour and a half, nonstop. That's great, but the last 15 minutes, nonstop stopping. Would you like us to make some trims? Yeah. <laughs> it could still be done. The last 15 didn't work um, OK, so your character was Mr. Together. He had the job, the career, the wife. Your character was. An out Less of work interesting actor. and not as funny. An out of work actor. I think is what you wanted to say. Out of work at Lothario. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lothario? Is that, well, how do you so, say it? I'm Canadian. Lothario. Thank you. Why did your character even think his character was living the dream in the first place? <laughs> well, because I was playing a guy that is uh, sort of always looking over the fence. Grass is always greener. Uh, he doesn't realize how good he's got it. I mean, you know, listen, it's, it's, it's basically, it, it, is, it is the big sort of. Um, enlightenment moment that you assume a body switching movie is going to give mm -hmm. you. And yes, in fact, we, we do do that, but we do it in a way that is much more sophisticated and current and hilarious than, you know, the body switching movies of, of the past, which have all been PG and PG, you know, 13. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is an R rated movie. This is not your father's. It's not your body father's. switching movie. Exactly. Um, or your mother's. Right. <laughs> Maybe your grandma's. Only problem I see is what do I tell Jamie? So what do you tell Jamie? What? Well, she wants to have sex tonight. Huh? Think about that. You're not having sex with my wife, Mitch. Obviously, bro, but if she comes at me like a hurricane, a guy can only withstand so much. Mitch. Dave, I'm trying to pull something off here, OK? Now, I might have to hit that, OK? She'll know. Now, how many times a day do you guys have sex? I have to pace it out. What day is it today? I don't know. Is it Tuesday? Yeah, you know what? It's a non-issue. What does that mean? You guys don't have sex on Tuesday? <laughs> Take the day off? <laughs> That's adorable. Tell you what, if she comes on like a hurricane, just drill it. Yeah, what can you do? You're only human. Give him the keys. Smart. Yeah. OK, please be careful with her. It's like we're swapping rides. Yeah, it is. You know? It's just like that. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. You're being very cool. One of the things I noticed was that the dialogue was really quick and witty and current and really funny. Um, how did you guys react when you first read the script? I, 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 when I first heard the premise, I just said, well, that, no. No. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and then somebody <laughs> said, no, you got to read the script. The guys from The Hangover wrote this, and the, uh, David Dobkin, who directed The Wedding Crashers, is, is on board. And, and, uh, and then I read the script, and I'll never forget, I was in New Orleans working at the time, and I was in bed reading it, and I was weeping, laughing, like crying, and I, and I felt so guilty, because I was like, this, is, this premise is preposterous, like I should not be enjoying this this much. And then I, when I finished the script, it was that night I remember I, I made a call to Los Angeles, to the headquarters. Mm -hmm. And uh, LA yeah, LA headquarters, and the comedy headquarters, and I said, uh, I'm, 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 uh, I'm in, and I heard Jason was, was possibly on board as well and that, that still stayed in I, yeah then I still stayed in despite my better judgment and everyone around me so my favorite scene in the whole movie was the porn scene yeah uh, it's a lot <laughs> so that was either horrifically terrible to shoot or it was hilariously funny <laughs> um, you know what I have a funny uh, story about that is, is that I don't look at the schedule in advance I should but that was the week uh, my mom visited was she there that day? she was there when that <laughs> woman took the thing off and then her... her Your mother's very progressive, though. She was she there was, on set? She's so Canadian. She's like, sounds like she's right Canadian, out of Fargo. Canadians are notoriously left and progressive. Yeah. And 
Because she had just two smoking ocular cavities by the time she was leaving the, the set. You can't bring your mom to those. She, those she days. no, I, I ruined everything for her. I mean, she actually thinks she's going to hell just for seeing. Me. <laughs> so, were you guys able to relate to what your characters are going through in this movie, with the grass being greener on the other side? And yeah, I mean, I I certainly do. I've been a, I've been a single guy. I've been a married guy. You know, I Don't know what you it's. Cry you on sort of see. Yeah, Don't I you won't cry. No. Barbara Walters over here. Um, I know. I, you, I know. You see. You see both sides, and 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 truthfully, that's you know, that appreciation for what you have, not for what you want, is the goal in life for everybody. And and uh, no, I think that that message is loud and clear in this in this particular adventure. Yeah. But by no means is the draw. We're not looking to teach anybody anything. No. With this film. No. This is just a straight up hoot. Yeah. Okay. Good old fashioned. Robbed. We got that. Well, thank you guys. We had a great time watching the film. So, uh -huh. thank I'm sure you. we'll do well. Thank you. All right, All right. nice to meet you. Then.